time for a setting the bar story, which is what, Kelly? It's an example of what not to do or a situation we hope you don't find yourself in. Look, adapting to modern times, evol- the evolving world is a must for anybody who hopes to survive, right? Uh-huh. Except this setting the bar story. If you can manage to make it through the day without moving from a cashless payment or moving to a cashless payment model when you're a wishing well, then you're doing okay. Well, that's not going to work out well. That is not going to work out well at all for the well. No pun intended. (laughs) So this happened in England. Uh, Wishing well switched to a contactless payment. So you're not tossing coins in the um water anymore but You're... the wish was attached to the coin that was the whole point wasn't it so this roman bathhouse in bath england is two thousand oh. years old two thousand mm. years old it was a cold water pool people could kind of jump in um after a hot bath whatever I, I've, for years tourists have been kind of coming there though looking at it tossing coins in to the bath for good luck it brought a lot of money for the charity that runs the bathhouse Uh huh. Right. About 133 grand per year just in people that were just coming by tossing coins in. Right. Yeah. And so because of a couple different things, because of uh, COVID that happened, they kind of went to. All right. Well, you can't come here. You can still donate online type of thing. And then also they were like, well, also tossing of the coins was damaging the bath structure and the process of retrieving and cleaning the coins wasn't cheap. So that's why we kind of went from a, hey, toss your own coins into the bath to the contactless payment. Well, yeah, no one's doing that. Exactly. Nobody's going to do that. Exactly. So they learned the hard way that people aren't aren't doing that and no. it went from about uh like i said 133 grand a year to under fourteen thousand dollars oh after they changed yep so probably no, even the coins probably even less this year as well so again they're like we're, we weren't trying to be jerks to do it but it was you know some of these hardships the 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 upkeep and all that but it sounds like maybe they were able to pay for the upkeep because of the money that they were bringing in by people tossing their coins into the uh, the bath there. So don't yeah, know. That's the whole point. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, hey, make a wish. Hit send. Yeah. No, Boop. that's not happening. They're not doing <laughs> that. That is, that's, like, doesn't work that way. It's oh. like, all right, you know what? Is the tooth fairy going to do the same thing? Where it's like, oh, I put a tooth under your bed. All right. Uh, now check your account. See if, <laughs> check your account. <laughs> see if no, the tooth fairy They want to see cash under the pillow. I know. There so. are certain industries that still need cash. Yeah. Tooth so fairy is one of them. Th- this is and apparently well. one of them as well. So yeah. uh, if you are in the well business, or in the, um, I don't know, the statue with the little water around it business, Uh huh. maybe consider if you're thinking about going to a contactless sort of payment, not doing that. Are they still doing that at Mall St. Matthews? The little fountain there? It, I still, whenever I go in there, I still see money in there. I see in lots there. of, yeah, yeah, I see so, a lot of coins in there. So, so I feel like that's still a thing. That's still a thing, at least locally in some of the places. But but if you can take a lesson from Bath, England, yeah. who has lost hundreds of thousands of dollars because Just it was charge your wish. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's still right? going to happen. All right, that's your set of the bar story on 9970JX.